How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today I'm going to talk about iPhone battery health and maximum capacity. But more specifically, why does the battery health percentage go down when we update the software? I know it's not every time, it doesn't happen on every single software update, but it's super common that every time we update the iPhone software, the battery health percentage goes down. The maximum capacity goes down. And if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the section that you can check on your iPhone going on settings and then battery and then battery health. And you can see right there, maximum capacity as a percentage. And of course, I've talked about this in other videos, I explained you exactly what it is in other videos. And if you don't really know what maximum capacity means, I'm gonna have a link right here so you can go there and watch another video here on the channel. In this video, I'm just gonna focus on the fact that it goes down after we update the software. So. I'm gonna explain you that, I'm gonna explain you why it happens, and also I'm gonna explain you if it is bad for the battery to update the software, because many people think this. Many people think that if we update the software and the battery health goes down, it means that updating the software hurts the battery. It degrades the battery, it's bad for the battery. So I'm gonna talk about that. And also I'm gonna talk about another thing that many people think, which is, if by updating my iPhone software makes my battery health to go down, I'm not gonna update anymore. So is it really a good thing to do or not? So let's talk about all those things. So first, let me explain you why this happens. Why when we update the iPhone software, we see this drop in the battery health percentage in the maximum capacity. It happens because of a very simple explanation. Because when we update, every single time we update the software, iOS, the software itself, will run some checkups. It will check a bunch of different parameters on the iPhone, one of them being the battery. So it will check the battery and it will actually recalculate the battery health. It will recalculate how old the battery is, how many cycles it has gone through, and it will just check, recalculate if the battery health percentage is correct, if the number that it's displaying is correct. If it sees that it's not correct after this recalculation, after this checkup, it'll just decrease it. And that's a normal thing to happen. As you know, batteries will degrade over time, percentages will lower over time, and this check will happen when there is a software update. So there, that's the simplest explanation I can give you, and that's just the plain truth. So your battery health won't be generally calculated normally when you're using the iPhone, it'll be recalculated, it'll be checked just when we update the software. So that's the explanation why right after we update, we often see the battery health go down or after just a few days. That's the recalculation process. So as you can tell, when you update your iPhone software, when you update iOS, it's not making any harm to your battery, it's not degrading your battery, it's just recalculating. So for example, if you had your iPhone at 100% battery health, 100% maximum capacity uh, when you were on iOS 15.4, for example, and then you update to 15.4.1, and then you see the battery health drop to 98%. And then you would immediately think that the uh, software update degraded your battery by 2%, but it didn't. Your battery is still the same. The capacity is still exactly the same. The performance will be exactly the same. The only thing that happened is a recalculation. So your battery was already at 98% in iOS 15.4, and then when it updated, it just updated the battery cycle count and it updated the battery health. So now you have an accurate reading of 98% in this example that we're giving. So, as you can tell, there is no harm done. Updating your software won't degrade your battery. It's just a recalculation. And then the last question that a lot of people have, which is, so, I'll stop updating my iPhone completely just to avoid this from happening. And that's not a good advice. That's not a good way of thinking, just because you just be fooling yourself. As I said, 
your battery won't change after the update it's just a number guys it's just a number it's just a percentage buried in a setting but your battery will be exactly the same whether you update or not your performance will be the same your battery life will be the same everything will be exactly the same you just be fooling yourself by thinking that your iphone battery health is at 100 percent when it's actually at 98 percent and also eventually you'll be forced to update just because some software some applications will require you to update or maybe you'll be forced to update when you reset your iphone for any reason so then you will have to update eventually and then your battery health your maximum capacity will be recalculated and then you have the correct number anyways so that's it that's my take on the subject on iphone battery health percentage dropping after a software update and my recommendation here really is don't worry about that use your iphone as you would update the software every time that you can you get all the new features bug fixes security updates and everything that's super important to make your iphone a better phone a more secure phone a more stable phone and don't really worry about battery percentage going down a little bit here and there after your update because as i mentioned it doesn't change anything in your experience your battery will be exactly the same so that's it hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to hit the like button down below on top of that don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon and also hit the comment box down below and let me know what you thought about this video this explanation and my channel as a whole because as i always say i do appreciate your feedback so that's it and i'll see you in the next video as usual bye bye